All right, I'm in Canva here and I have this headline text that I want to put two effects on. I want to outline it and I want it to have a shadow, but you can't do two things to text in Canva. So what are we going to do? Come on, I'll show you. All right, I'm going to click on my text. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to give it an outline to start with. There we go. That looks good. I don't like that color at all. So I'm going to change that up a bit. We'll go with a, uh, I don't know what they call it. Bluish purple cobalt indigo. I don't know. We'll go with that color. So that's great, but now I want a shadow. And if I go to effects and I go and switch on shadow, it's just gonna take away my outline. And I don't wanna take away my outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this text here. I'm gonna right click and say duplicate. You can also do control D on a Windows keyboard. I assume it's command D on a Mac, but I don't speak Mac, so I'm not positive. I'm gonna leave this one where it is, but I wanna grab the one that's in the back. And if you have trouble grabbing something that's in the back in Canva, you can go over to Position, make sure you're on the Layers tab, and you'll be able to find out what order layers are in and grab the one that you actually want. So this one's on top. That would be the one that's in the front. This one's in the bottom. I'm just going to move it up there by clicking and dragging, and that way they're right close together. So I want the one that's in the back right now. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit Effects. And I'm going to say shadow. And so that takes away my outline. Notice my outline went away, but I do have a shadow now. We can leave everything else just like it is. We're going to click and grab on the text that's in the front. Drag that up. And Canva wants to snap to guides here. It's trying to keep everything lined up, which is usually awesome. But in this case, I need a little bit more fine movement. So I'm going to hold down on the control key. When I click and drag, and that way I get real precision movement here. So I can drag this down and get it exactly how I want it. That gives me my shadow. And if you need to, go ahead and zoom in really big. So there's my text. And I want that about there. Looks like where I want to be for my shadow. And you might not be able to see that shadow very well because it is a bright yellow on this light background. So let's go ahead and grab it. We're going to go back to position, make sure we're looking at the one that's in the back, and we're going to work on that shadow. We're going to say effects again, the shadow, we've got an offset of 50. First, let's change the color, which I think that might be. There we go. We changed the color. We made it uh, black. Maybe we'll change it to this. Oh, violet's what that's called. Violet, that looks a little better. I think we'll stick with that color. And now we can see what's going on. If you need it to poke out a little bit more, click in effects there, we can change the offset. The offset is how far away it's going from the text. We can do something like that. We can even blur it up. Looking pretty good, right? Now, if you want to work with this and move it around, you'll need to select both of them and group them. I would totally recommend doing that. So I'm just going to start off the edge of the canvas here. I'm going to click down with my left mouse button. I'm going to drag over, which will make sure that I'm selecting both of these instances of text. And then I'm going to click group. And now they're one thing. So with one click, I can just drag it all around. Now, of course, if you change this text, if you change the text in one of these, it's not going to match up with what's behind anymore. We're going to need to fix that, which is easy enough. We just ungroup. We'll click somewhere so that we're not selecting both of them again. Drag this out of the way. Change this, this. And drag this back up until we get it right. Oh, perfect. Right where we want our shadow to be. And there you are. You can do this with many of the effects to get multiple effects on this text. If you have trouble lining things up and you're like, well, this text is yellow and that text is yellow and they all just blend together, you can change this text color to anything you want. We can make it black and that way we'll know as long as there's no black peeking through that we've done what we need to do because you won't see the black at all. If you play around with this by using the layers, by just simply copying the text, making a duplicate of the text that you want to work with and try different things, you can come up with all kinds of crazy creative solutions. And it can be a lot of fun. You'll end up with things you never even imagined. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.